All right. Hello, my friends. Um, let's see. I wanted to go ahead and show you my music teacher planner for 2020-2021, which is very cool because it's fully on Google Slides, which means if you have your weekly lesson plans here, you will have them all in one place. I know I personally really struggled with keeping keeping all my lesson plans all in one place from year to year. So hopefully you can use this from, um, you can keep this in your Google Drive um, and save it from year to year. And knowing that um, everything is linked in here. So let me show you what I mean by that. So every single slide has this top banner that has all of the, um, that has all of the months. And as you can see, if I want to visit, um, let's say I'm at the home page and I want to visit March, all I have to do is click on it and it will bring me there to the monthly calendar. And this is March, 2021. So, and then if I decide, you know, I don't just want to look at that at the monthly calendar, I want to actually go to the weekly plan. So then I'll just click the name and then it'll bring me to the weekly plan. But let's go back home and I can show you what all of, what are, what is found in the table of contents. So um, we have a year to glance. We have performance dates if we get to have some um, this year due to COVID-19. Then first quarter at glance, um, quarters at a glance and, and the different objectives that you're going to, um, that you are going to teach. Um, this is also going to show again, monthly calendars. So you can see like um, what is all happening. This is gonna help you with long-term long planning. Um, and then weekly plan templates. And then of course, um, lesson plan templates, which you can customize these um, to your desire and then just copy and paste slides. So, um, let's go through all of them one by one. So let's say I want to go to year at a glance then I'll just go to slide four. Um, and then this is where you can put your school calendar, your district calendar, any teammate birthdays, any other birthdays that you want to remember and just have it all here. Um, then you can go back home. Then you go to performance dates. Um, I don't know if a lot of people are having any performances this year, but um, you can put them all here. You can customize this. It doesn't have to be by grade level. You can, you know, make it a smaller if you want to create a little bit, if you want to create more. Um, I would just keep it all to one page, honestly, um, instead of making a cop or duplicating the slide. Um, just put all of the performance dates here and just edit as you see fit. Um, let's see. Okay. And then quarters at a glance. So then we have first quarter, second quarter, third and fourth quarter. So that again, you can, um, you can write out what are the different objectives that I am teaching in the first quarter based on my district scope and sequence, um, or any, um, like, what do I want to grade them on? this some, this quarter and if you're on six weeks instead of nine weeks um you know all you would have to do then is just change this top part to like first six weeks and uh just like duplicate the slide to um with six weeks and six six weeks i know most people are on quarters though so um just in case you are still operating on six weeks as opposed to nine weeks um, okay, and then we're going to go to, oops, uh, monthly calendars. So again, this just like allows you to see like, oh, okay, like what is on that date? Um, does that day fall on a Sunday? But then, you know, reconcile this, of course, with your yearly calendar. Um, like what are, like when, when are the holidays and, and whatnot? Um so that's why I would, I would make sure to have that there. Um, okay. Then uh, weekly plan templates. So I find that just a very, very simple, um, simple outline like this could be helpful. 
um, and you can put the different grades here. Again, if you see more than one, if you see more than five grades, then all you would have to do is like insert row below. Um, and then for the actual lesson plan, um, you know, right, go ahead and fill in the grade. What is the objective for that week? What is the procedure? What are the activities that you're doing? Um, what week is it? And of course, as always, <laughs> you can you can add to this uh, or take it away and um, duplicate the slide if you see more than five classes. Um, or you know you could just like make these make these smaller, make these columns smaller, um, and then just copy like edit make make sure you you have just like the template right and then like whatever the template is you'll just copy that to whatever month you are in. Um, I've already given you the um, example in every single month, which like you can just choose between this one or this one. Um, whichever one is best for you. Um, and then just based on, you know, how many weeks there are in that month, you would just duplicate the slide again and just uh, fill it out, you know, what is my lesson plan for this week. And last but not least, um, there's just miscellaneous things if you wanted to add anything. Um, I didn't link anything to here, but uh, in case you want like a catch-all of like what are all of the, uh, you know, favorite YouTube channels or like favorite blogs or like anything online that you just want to keep all in one place, then that would be like an opportunity for you to just like have um, another slide. I'm just going to, yeah, um, just have another slide here and just link everything. Um, and by that, you would just... You just highlight this, you would click this link here, and then you would um, just add whatever slide that is there. And I went ahead and just left you a blank slide in, in case you uh, want to, you know, put links here uh, for anything. So um, I hope that this is useful for you. I hope you like it. Um, I personally like having my plans on my Google Drive as opposed to um, having them accumulate in binders throughout the year. Uh, so I hope that this is really helpful for you. Have a great day.